Hello all, Dominic here again. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all okay today. I hope the week weekend's going well for you so far. And I also hope life is going great for all of you. Now before I start, I just want to say that uh, this video will be uploaded a little bit later as usual. Um, the reason why is because of the fact I've actually been out, out and about today um, with my mother, so I have. But I've also been spending a bit of time with my niece. So because of that, you know, things been getting in the way and all that sort of stuff. And the video today will be uploaded later than usual. So, sorry for any inconvenience, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. So, today's video is going to be about the Wii U. And, got it here sure, I did unplug it. <laughs> so I did. Um, and, yeah, so, as we all know today, um, in the UK and Europe, the Wii U, the Nintendo Wii U, turns seven years old today. And... It's crazy how quick that time's gone. It really, really is. On the 30th of November, 2012, the Wii U saw its UK and European launch today. Um, and, well, not today. <laughs> back in 2012. And, yeah, so, happy birthday, Nintendo Wii U, seven years later. And it's been an interesting ride. Obviously, it was discontinued back in January 2017, as we all know. Um, but it's, to this day, my all-time favourite game console. It's never been beaten. It's been close with other consoles, but it's never got that top spot. It's never gone past the Wii U. And I just want to, you know, just share a few thoughts about it and stuff. And, yeah, so, seven years later, um, what are my thoughts about it? Um, overall, pretty much the same as usual. Uh, so they are, so they are, um... I love this console. It's amazing. Uh, very underrated, I think, for some of the features it did ahead of its time, especially with the gamepad with the uh, the screen in the middle, the off-TV play. Love that, so I did. Um, obviously, sort of, you know, brings it with the Switch being a, a full-on portable hybrid home console where you can take out the dock and play it in portable mode. So, yeah. Um... But I do agree, I think, for what the Nintendo did with the gamepad. Um, after all this time, still really, really comfy. Um, if you wondered, that's like, this is actually a silicone... Uh, silicone? Silicone. Um, it's a kit little case, uh, so it is, to put it on. Um, I bought it, like, for 50 pence, <laughs> so I did. Brand new about two years ago, I think. Yeah, two years ago. Um, and, yeah, I've liked it, so I do. Um, so... I've never taken it off. It feels weird when, when I take this off, so I do. But even with it on, it's still really, really comfy. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it just, it's crazy about how quick that time's gone. You know what I mean? It is true people, what people say. Time does go quick when you get older. Um, one thing I do like with the Wii U is that there are some still, even to this day... Um, games that come out now obviously they're mostly digital only and indie games but still to see games on the Wii U a console that was pretty much a failure for you know so much more most of its life is incredible you know what I mean and I I love that and people might look at me you know and I say oh the Wii U it's just got a new game and people look at me like really there's, wait there's a new game coming out for the Wii U you sure you're not making this up? The new games still coming out. Yeah. Um, so far, I think it's been about four or five that's come out. But it's amazing that these games come out. And every time I'm on the eShop on the Wii U, I have a quick look. Oh, there's new games coming out. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just really, really good. Most of the time, they come out, you know, months months in between. So you might have one game that came out months ago, about three, four months ago. And then you could have had one, you know, come out a couple of, week, couple of weeks ago, for example. I'm the same. Um, it's just fascinating for a console that most people hated still getting that, you know, small support. It's really, really good. One thing that d was a bit weird this year is, um, this was the first year where the Wii U did not get a Just Dance game. And it's just strange to see that, you know what I mean? Since it was still getting them for the, like, last year and, you know, the year, uh, year before and stuff. It's just crazy and stuff. Uh, now, granted, you can play the Wii version on the Wii U, um, you know, due to its backwards compatibility, which is pretty cool. So that's a nice thing. Um, but I think a few things it did sort of do currently, which are sort of 
say it's the last console to do that. One, <clears throat> sorry, one is it's the last console to be used on a standard definition console. Now, obviously, you've got the ports in the back, don't you? Um, just ignore the USBs. <laughs> so, you are. Um, so, obviously, you've got the HDMI uh, and you've got a standard port, um, or standard definition port, which you can use um, component or composite cables on it. And it's the last, last, um, newest console, if you want to say, newest, um, to be used on a non-standard, uh, sorry, on a non-HD television. Now, you can use, um, PlayStation 4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, um, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, um, Nintendo Switch on a standard definition television. The difference there is you need, um, a converter to downscale it, so you do. Whereas this, you just connect the cable, connect it to an SD TV. And you, you're done, which is good. Um, obviously, you've got to change the, you know, the the configurations of the television. But, yeah, you know what I mean? The last one. But also, currently, until um, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet come out, um, it's also the last home console to have hardware-based backwards compatibility. Um, due to the fact that Wii U can play Wii games, um, it plays it off the hardware. It doesn't use emulation like um, Xbox One's backwards compatibility with original Xbox games and Xbox 360 games, or the PlayStation 2 emulation on PlayStation 4. It doesn't do do that. Um, it plays the games off the hardware, so you've got most of the full library of Wii games you can play on the Wii U, which is amazing. It's really really good, and um, I kept thinking that in you know in the um, previous show or whatever is, you know, I wonder if the Wii U would be the last home console to have hardware-based backwards compatibility, but looks like I'm wrong on that, so, yeah. Um, but that'd be a nice thing to see for the future consoles, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, it's really, really good. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's just nice, you know, sort of to look back at the Wii U and everything and stuff. And I do feel a lot more people are starting to realise that this is a great console, it really, really is. Obviously, you've got a lot of people that are scalping the damn thing. But <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of people that start to realise that, wow, the Wii U is really, really good. And even though most of the, the, there's been a ton of games that have been ported from the Wii U to the Switch, there's still a good amount that are still exclusive to this platform. Because um, everyone just thinks, oh, they'll just all be ported and stuff, which I don't think they'll all be ported. Um, I think there's a few games on, the, on here on the Wii U that we might see still be exclusive on the switch on, on the wii u um maybe but um yeah it's just you know it's just a, a nice thing and stuff because everyone thinks oh there's no point buying a wii u now all the best games are on the switch i don't believe that um because of the fact that you know there's still a great value with the wii u uh, obviously, you've got the Wii catalogue, you've got the backwards compatibility, you've got the virtual console, so you have, and um, just all sorts, really. I really, really like it. Obviously, you can't access the Wii Shop channel anymore because it was shut down back in January. Um, future video, I want to talk about that, so I do. Um, but yeah, I just want to, you know, wish the Wii you were uh, a seventh, you know, birthday and stuff. I can't believe it's been seven years. Um, and I remember I was at college when this came out and I really, really wanted one. Um, but I ended up buying it off a friend of mine because he was pretty much... Um, he, he lost interest with it, so he did. And he knew that the PlayStation 4 was coming out uh, in 2013, so that's why. So I just want to, you know, say um, in the last you know, last of, the last of this video, um, happy birthday, Wii U. I think you are, you are still, to this day, an amazing console. Very underrated. Some of the features, especially gamepad and everything, ahead of, ahead of its time. And you are well worth, you know, talking about and playing and stuff. Even to this day, my all-time favourite console. It really, really is. Could it ever, ever be beaten by a future console? Maybe. Um, at, at one point, I thought the PlayStation 4 was going to pass it. It didn't. Um... I thought the same about the Nintendo Switch. Didn't even hit a dent. Um, so, yeah. Um, even Xbox One. 
I had honestly thought at one point the Xbox One was going to beat it, um, but it didn't. But yeah, um, do I think it could be beaten by a future home console or whatever? I don't know. I'll have to see really. But anyway, um, happy birthday Wii U. A great console. Well worth, you know, playing and stuff, even to this day. Still enjoy it and yeah, happy birthday. Happy seven years. And uh, yeah, great times. Absolutely great times, yeah. So yeah, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. December 1st tomorrow, bloody hell. Pardon me. December 1st. Where, this, where has this bloody year gone? Crazy. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all on Tuesday. Bye.